With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question here says that if the hybrid DNA is allowed to replicate for one generation in a medium containing N14 and for the second generation in the medium containing N15, then what is the proportion of the light, heavy and the hybrid which is obtained respectively? So let's make this diagram which will be able to represent clearly what we are trying to find it out. So we are taking N15 as the red color. So this is the N15 heavy isotope which is taken from the ammonium chloride NH4Cl and this is the normal one. Okay, So normal one means that it is the normal isotope that is N14. Now it says that this is a hybrid DNA. Now this hybrid DNA which contains one strand of N14 and the other strand of N15 is allowed to replicate for one generation in a medium containing N14. So let's take it. This is the N14 medium which is taken now. In the N14 medium, now what will happen? These two parental strands are going to separate since it is semi-conservative in nature and the other strand will be the heavy strand. So both these strands are now going to separate from each other whereas they are going to form a new strand since the new strand is the will be taken up the raw material will be taken up from the medium itself so the new strand will be n14 strand so this is how the two bacterium after 20 minutes will be formed 20 minutes means one generation more is formed so generation time of e coli is 20 minutes now the second thing is that for the second generation in the medium N15. Now we'll change the medium and now the medium is N15. The N15 is a heavy isotope medium which is taken from 15 ammonium chloride. Now these four strands, these are the four parental strands. Now these four strands are going to separate. So when these strands separate, the one is the N15 strand whereas the other three strands are the N14 strand. Whereas the new molecules which will be synthesized over it will be taken up from this particular medium that is N15. So let's make it in red color. So this is the N15 medium. The strand is N15 heavy strand. Now we need to calculate. Now this is the generation. So after more 20 minutes that means total amount of 40 minutes. This is what four molecules which we are going to get will be of this type. So it says that what is the proportion of the light? Light means N14 is to N14. We can see that none of them are N14 by N14. Whereas this is N15, N15 strand. That means it is heavy. Heavy is 1. Whereas the other three strands are, these three strands are hybrid strands. That means 1 is N15 and the other one is N14. So N14 by N14 is to, here let's find out the ratio, is to N15 by N15 is to N14 by N15. So what is the ratio? It is 0 is to 1 is to 3. So this is the right answer for this question. So here we can very clearly see that the meselson stahl experiment, these three types of strands can be separated from each other with the help of a cesium chloride density gradient medium which was used. So after uh, second generation, so this is the result of the second generation. So we have one heavy whereas the three light bacterium. So this is all about this query. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.